Welcome to Al Jazari channel, where we break down complex concepts and make data analysis easy to understand. Today, we have an exciting tutorial that will take your data analysis skills to the next level. Let's talk about the spread of your data. We'll dive into standard deviation, variance, and range. Moreover, you will learn how to obtain them using Microsoft Excel. Now, let's dive into the concept of standard deviation. It's a crucial measure of dispersion that tells us how the values in our dataset are spread out. Standard deviation measures the average deviation of each data point from the main. A higher standard deviation indicates greater variability, while a lower one suggests more consistency. Here is the formula used to calculate the standard deviation, where xi is the i data point, x bar is the mean value of the data set, and n is the number of points in the data set. Let us find the standard deviation of two data sets using Microsoft Excel. These are the two data sets I shall use. In these two cells, I shall add the standard deviation. In the first cell type equals S and then T. In the list, look for the STDEV function, which represents the standard deviation function. Here it is, the fourth one. Select this function, then select the first data set, close the bracket, and hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Well, we get the standard deviation of the first data set. So, the standard deviation of this data set is approximately 11.58. This tells us that the data points vary by about 11.58 from the mean value of 37. Do the same for the second data set to obtain its standard deviation. Here it is. So, the standard deviation of this data set is approximately 7.25. This tells us that the data points vary by about 7.25 from the mean value of 33.5. Now we have the standard deviation of the two data sets. As you see, the first one is higher than the second. So let us plot these data to see the difference. The first chart to the left represents the first data set with a standard deviation of 11.58, while the second one represents the second data set with a standard deviation of 7.25. It is clear that the first set has great variability while the second one is more consistent. At the end of these, standard deviation is incredibly useful because it helps us understand the dispersion and variability within our data. Whether you're dealing with financial data, scientific measurements, or any other data set, knowing the standard deviation is vital for making informed decisions and drawing meaningful conclusions. Now, let's dive into measures of dispersion which help us understand how much our data spreads out. We'll cover two important metrics, variance and range. Variance measures the average of the squared differences between each data point and the mean. It gives us insight into the overall spread of the data. It is calculated using this formula, where xi is the i data point, x bar is the mean value of the data set, and n is the number of points in the data set. Let us find the variance of the same two data sets using Microsoft Excel. In these two cells, I shall add the variance. In the first cell type equals V and then A. In the list, look for the VARA function, which represents the variance function. Here it is, the fourth one. Select this function, then select the first data set, close the bracket, and hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Well, we get the variance of the first data set. So, the variance of this data set is approximately 134.08. Do the same for the second data set to obtain its variance. Here it is. So, the variance of this data set is approximately 52.63. Variance is useful for understanding the overall spread of the data, but its unit of measurement is squared. So, we often prefer to use its square root, which is the standard deviation. Next, we have the range, which is the simplest measure of dispersion. It's the difference between the highest and lowest values in the data set. For the same two data sets, let us calculate their range in these two cells. In the first cell type equals, and M then select the maximum function and select the first data set. Close the bracket then type minus, M, and I, then select the minimum function and select the first data set. Close the bracket and hit the enter key on your keyboard. Here's the range of the first data set. Repeat the same procedure for the second data set to find its range. Here it is. Variance and range are essential tools for understanding how data is spread out. Variance gives us a more detailed view, while range provides a quick and easy way to grasp the spread. These measures help us identify outliers, assess data quality, and make data-driven decisions. Congratulations! 
You've now mastered dispersion measurement using Microsoft Excel. Remember, these skills are invaluable for making data-driven decisions and uncovering insights. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Al Jazari channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest tutorials. Thanks for joining us on this data journey. Stay curious, keep analyzing, and see you next time on the Al Jazari channel.